I just want to say hi to all my friends. For those who don't know me, I'm Gabriel. Let's get started using our problem-solving skills to create something that will help our families using supplies we can find around our homes. The experts say washing hands with soap and water reduces our chance of getting COVID-19. But if soap and water are not available, you can use a hand sanitizer. My mommy and others have been saying that this has become very expensive and hard to get. Give them a surprise when they get home this evening. Surprise them with a bottle of homemade hand sanitizer. Use a hand sanitizer with at least 70% alcohol. All you need to make the hand sanitizer is in your home. You will need a bottle of rubbing alcohol, aloe vera gel, or the real aloe vera you can pick from your garden, and some essential oil. I found peppermint in the cupboard so I will use that. While I wait on you to get the stuff needed, take a look at what we can do to safeguard ourselves and everyone else from COVID-19. The good news is, you can protect yourself and your family against the coronavirus called COVID-19. We touch lots of things every day, like doorknobs, phones, keyboards, tables, cupboard drawers, refrigerator doors, and light switches. Don't touch these things unless you absolutely have to. One way to lower the risk of getting the virus is to wipe down everything at the start of the day. Clean frequently touched surfaces and objects at home like doorknobs with disinfectant or soap and water. Once done, wash your hands properly. Protect yourself and your parents from the coronavirus or COVID-19. to make our hand sanitizer. Let's do this. First, you fill over a half or three-fourths of the bottle with rubbing alcohol. Then, you fill the remaining of that with aloe vera gel. Then, you pour your peppermint essential oil in it. And lastly, you shake it. And this is how you make your own homemade hand sanitizer.